Oh, here I am. Just uh, changing some uh, rake teeth on the Alice Chalmers uh, 77G rake that we have. It's a uh, side delivery, ground driven. It's got a uh, power implement tire. Comes over, drives the shaft through a couple dogs. Drives this belt. There's a clutch there, but we don't really use the clutch. It just spins all the time. I got a couple of holes clamps because the clutch tends to come apart. Uh, right down in here. And the belt stops spinning, so I just got a couple hose clamps. <clears throat> keeping it in gear, basically. Belt drive, right angle, over to here. And then, uh, and then back. I uh, forget what size belt that is. It's fairly good size. I think it's a C146 or something like that. C148. It's a fair size belt once you get it off of there. Or is it a C78? I can't remember. I got a spare in the shed and I wrote it down just for this purpose because it goes around more than three times and all the writing's rubbed off the back. But part of the uh, thing is the uh, rake teeth are uh, original when I bought it. I think they were all original except maybe a couple. And uh, you can still get the... Uh, Alice Chalmers teeth, but they're about five times the price, and you gotta order them in. So I get the new Holland teeth. I'm just putting one on here, and they're a couple bucks, and uh, they're pretty much the same tooth. A little bit different down here at the bottom. Got a little bit more of a kick, and they're not quite as long. These are about an extra half inch long. So you just gotta ride the basket a little bit closer to the ground, which is fine for us. We don't have a ton of rocks or hills or anything, so. Occasionally you get a bent one, but uh, it's usually sufficient. So, just uh, this is the last tooth, thankfully. I had seven to do this year, which uh, I usually have a few to do while we're hang, maybe four or five. But uh, seven's actually a fair bit to do on this uh, at the beginning, usually because I keep up with it during the use, but uh, I may not have kept up with it last year, I can't remember. So, I'll take a look at the international side delivery we have. It's a 15, and it's slightly different. We'll look at it in a minute. Uh, so here we are over at the international. It's a, it's a 15. McCormick International 15 side delivery. The Alice one, you barely can see. It's, it's in the... Uh, it looks like this. You can barely make it out kind of thing. So... Slightly different uh, mech for uh, raising the basket, and then uh, completely different on the drive. So it's got a chain, same thing, power driven. It's got a chain to chain, and then a, the right angle here. It's got a gearbox that comes up and drives the uh, the reel. So this is a five bar, and uh, the Alice is a four bar. So. Uh, uh, slightly different. This one's a little bit heavier duty uh, In a few places like the hitch is definitely more heavy duty and uh, the basket the uh, The bearing uh, cups right here are fairly heavy duty, so uh, It's still got the original teeth on it. I actually just picked this up not long ago and uh, Somebody started to change them to New Holland right here but they've uh they've bent this one for whatever reason and then they got a different holder on them so some difference uh there's a bearing that has to be uh done right here there's some major slop in it so when it moves around the bearing actually comes out probably got cut up by the twine that's on the shaft here and then to disengage and engage there's a lever here with a cable that pulls a pin on the gearbox that uh, takes it in and out of gear. So, fairly simple rakes. Uh, it's one of the things I like about them. Not not overly complex. Uh, it's not like the newer uh, egg beater type. Uh, they're they're the older style, like the older ground driven V rakes were. Fairly uh, straightforward. Uh, being ground driven, it's nice because really you could pull it with a truck or a quad if you had to. 
So that's the uh, international. <laughs>